Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Dino Time Show. I'm your host, Dakota Morgan, your friend, neighborhood podcaster, animal caretaker, dinosaur enthusiast, and all the jazz like that I have with me here today. Uh, Michaela, I have a mask on right now because of our cat stinks. It should be clarified. We are, the desk is next to the litter box, and she means her shirt. It works either way. <laughs> uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, Herbivore here on Dino Times, a show where we like to make sure everything, we give you guys some paleo-accurate information and talk about science and also other dinosaur-themed stuff as well. It's my little dinosaur little talk show we do when we can, to say the least here. Uh, today we're talking about... Uh, sauropod but not too large of a sauropod uh the cousin of my favorite dinosaurpod almost the amargosaurus is the, the bahadosaurus actually that one and you michaela just looked up some pictures of this <laughs> it looks fucking weird yeah. it's uh, its nickname is the uh, mohawk dinosaur oh well, no shit <laughs> yeah, yeah. no fucking shit yep he's actually from the early cretaceous of northern argentina so still in that same area of the amargosaurus in there which we'll get to that debate here in a minute about those two because in case you didn't realize there are some similarities uh belonging to the group oh god i hope i pronounced this right the dicrosauridae a group of short, I always mispronounce it, I'm a sauropod lover, uh, a group of small, short-necked sauropods. So those are the group of sauropods like the Amarcosaurus, uh, Musa, or there's a few of them in there. You know which ones I'm talking about. And is only, this by the way, this Bahadosaurus is only on one single specimen. A single specimen was found in 2010, but was actually owned and described in 2019. So this is a new kiddo. This isn't an older guy. Okay. What do you mean the okay? Okay. No, 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 I mean like I didn't know. You didn't that. expect it to be in the 20s? <laughs> the, the 20s no, no, no not, like not that? really, no. Oh, there's a lot of dinosaurs discovered. We're in the golden age of paleontology currently right now. Uh, there's a new dinosaurs discovered like every other week. Uh, I had two <laughs> pronoun extremely elongated neural spines. And those in watching the video right now, you will see in the pictures. Uh, elongated neural spines extending from the neck, similar to a margosaurus, of course, but just in the opposite direction. So instead of them going, uh, the spikes facing down the body from the head to the tail, the spikes actually face towards the head for the uh, Bahadosaurus. So actually, yeah, we do have some size comparison for these guys. They're actually the, estimated to be the size of modern-day Asian elephants. Oh, okay. Yeah, so so they're, not, they're not that big. Yes. Okay. Uh, the, we only have actually a skull and neural spines found <laughs> So this kid. Yeah, that's all we have so far of them, but we're finding fragments, I believe, every now and then, from what I've been hearing in the rumor mill. Uh, still debating on whether there was a uh, sale of spines or they stuck straight out. So whether or not the spines are connected by a thin little membrane, so they connected with the, like looking skin piece, or they were just spikes sticking out like a porcupine. Uh, still heavy debate on that, but the Amargosaurus recently was actually, I believe it was, a paper that came out describing it as both. Okay. So they were actually more, there was this membrane that was actually on there, but there was a little bit of a spike up at the top. So kind of like how a Spinosaurus's sail is almost. No. No? No, because there would, no. Uh, it, uh, in a way, actually, yeah, like how the bones would be connected. That, yeah, 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 yeah. Just imagine that being on the yeah. neck with two different rows. Okay. Yes. Well, I can see why that they're debating if it, it was just found, you know, or, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's, we're wondering on that one of what it is. For sure. Um, we don't know for sure what the spikes were used for. We don't know. Uh, there's still some heavy debate going on of defense or possibly mating, which is always like the big part about it. A lot of people like, that must be used for defense. A lot of the times, those weird things on dinosaurs and prehistoric creatures, mating. Could sauropods, can some sauropods swim? Or yeah, yeah, because it was always the debate that they needed. Like in, in the 1920s, there was a big thing of... Actually, in the 1800s, it was that sauropods needed to stay in water to survive because they could float because the pressure of their legs would break down. And like, oh, so like what they do with the with the, um, not rhinos, um, elephants, hippos. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. hippos can still run and walk and stuff like that. So it's like they yeah, but you they know that you know that like stigma that was that yeah, was like the only like, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yes, uh, so we have that and. Whew. So, fun fact about these guys, also on this one, oh, I know we're dealing with the kitty smell on this, the skull contains 48 pencil-sharp teeth uh, for chewing up plants, and actually the skull was slender, so it wasn't like a big, thick, round skull like we usually see. It's actually a very slender skull, and those pencil-shaped teeth, by the way, very common in sauropods as well, in herbivores, because it allows them to ground up the branches and the thick vegetation for their diet. 
Oh, so the the head wasn't as like fat, like a, like a brack. No, 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 no. Because a brack, like no. yeah, like no. their eyes. Kamarasaurus, yeah, or not, yeah, no, 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 very, very slender to say the least. Yeah, but yeah, that is actually all we have in the Bahadosaurus. <laughs> That's actually it. As always, there's a new specimen. We're still in the heavy debates with this kiddo. Uh, Marga's step one because we have a full skeleton of that one. The Baha we do not, so there is a. Uh, but we know it's a cousin. Uh, there's still some debate, a little bit of a debate going on of is it just still technically an Amargosaurus and we just looked at it wrong? There's that. But right now, the Baha dinosaur is still kicking. But what do you think about the Baha dinosaurs? Well, my first reaction I, from uh, when you looked at it or when I looked at it, it was um, the name. It just got to me because I was just like, huh, Baja Blast and all that. Oh, my God, no. Because yeah, that's what it reminded me of. And then when you showed me the picture of it, I was just like, what the fuck? All right, I want pictures, fan art of this dinosaur mixed with Baja Blast and some promotional piece, please. I mean, hell, we have a Triceratops cow and an Overraptor macaw. So, you know what, folks? The Baja Blast, Baja Zosaurus. Somebody dressed up as Boba Fett with a whole bunch of Boba around them. <laughs> I showed you that damn picture. Yeah, so uh, do you learn some fun facts, though, in this episode? Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. 